Electrician. Hey YouTube, Doctrician84 here, and welcome to Q&A number 145. Wow, I can't believe we're almost at 450. Um, I wonder how long it'll take before reaching 200. I feel like that'll happen sometime next year, most probably. Anyway, uh, let's kick this off. First questions, as usual, are from Matt and Alison Welch. 1. Any thoughts and opinions on the new Blue Eyes White Dragon announced in Rage of the Abyss? It's kind of similar to how Dark Magician the Ebon Sorcerer, which is which it supports a competitively different archetype, even though they share names of their original archetypes. Um, I need to quickly read over its effect again. Okay, here we are, Blue Eyes of the Heart. Yeah, I actually knew someone was going to ask me about it. Um, so, yeah, it is kind of surprising and very interesting uh, that they put a Blue Eyes card um, into an archetype that's supposed to kind of rival it, in a way. Um, I don't know if it would work in an actual Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Um, so yeah, that adds the Millennium Onk. Uh, da -da, possession card switch. Okay, so no change of heart and snatch steals shenanigans. Um, yeah, um, it's a nice setup for a rank eight play. Although, uh, oh no, wait, there are some a couple of level 8 monsters already, including um, the retrain of Sengenjin, which I forget the name of. Um, so, yeah, it's random, but uh, pretty cool. Um, I mean, I don't think I'll... I mean, I don't know about other Blue Eyes players, but I don't think I'll play it in mine. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got uh, my Richardson format Blue Eyes White Dragon deck right here. Um, I thought I might as well show that, since it's a Blue Eyes related question. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to say about it. And question two, in Speed Duels, if you were able to create your own skill card, what would you call it and what would its effects be? Um, oh, I didn't even think about a name. Um, I literally just thought of something a few minutes ago. Um, Uh, maybe something about turning the tide of the duel. Um, but I was thinking of something that would support Dark Magician and Shining Flare Wingman. Although, if it supported uh, anime protagonists, then it would be Neo instead of Shining Flare Wingman. But because Shining Flare Wingman is my favourite hero, um, that's what I'm going with. Now, I'm not sure about a name, but the effect would be activate only while you control um, no while your life points are 2000 or less uh, target one dark magician or elemental hero shining flare wingman you control during this turn it, it is unaffected by card effects and it can attack all the opponent's monsters once each but no other monsters can attack this turn, you know, just to try and balance it out. I mean, maybe I could say give it 500 attack as well, or 2,000, or just 1,000, either of those really. Um, yeah, that's the kind of skill card I create. 
and um, yeah, the last few questions are from Super Ultra Hero Nine Nine Six One, um, and yeah, he's just thanking me for uh, my comment to uh, something he said in the last episode. Um, you're so welcome, man. I love your videos, and I hope you can continue to do them. You're a cool dude, and you and Emma are such a cute couple, and I respect your choices of Yu-Gi-Oh. High five! Yeah, high five! <laughs> Thanks very much. 1. Did you ever watch Ben 10? If you did, which series is your favourite? Mine being Ultimate Alien. Um, no, I didn't watch it. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not sure when it started, but um, I never watched it. So I just don't know anything about the series, I'm afraid. Two, what happened to the Dark Magician you used to wear around your neck? It just so happens to be in my Dark Magician deck. I, I was able to fix it up and make it playable again. Um, I believe I managed this like about three years ago or so. Um, cause, yeah, in case you don't know or anyone else doesn't know, that was my original copy of Dark Magician and in 2012 I stopped playing it because it was wearing out the back of a sleeve um, and I thought that would make him unplayable but now I've basically found a way to fix it and make sure that um, the thickness hasn't changed basically I've tried as much as possible to get it to the same thickness in fact it should be the exact thickness um, and I've made it playable, um, and obviously no one has an issue with me playing it. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's in my Dark Magician deck now, hence why I'm not wearing it around my neck anymore. 3. How happy were you when Neos can finally work with the original Elemental Heroes? I mean, I thought it was pretty cool, I mean, I wasn't exactly jumping for joy or anything, I mean, I was perfectly happy with Neos functioning in its own type of hero deck, but um, it was cool that it, he could work with the original elemental heroes, I mean, I suppose technically he could anyway, once the omni elemental heroes came about. Um, but with the support we've got in Power of the Elements, this um, gives more of an excuse to play it in a pure Elemental Hero deck. 4. How many Funko Pops do you have? Oh, I probably should have counted uh, before we started, but I have got, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, wait, 2, 4, 6, Eight, ten, twelve. Um, yeah, I currently have twelve, um, and um, yeah, Express Gaming is probably gonna get more of them. Uh, I heard that there's now a Jaden pop figure, um, and I also know that there are some that are ridiculously expensive, like the Gods and Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but I don't expect to get all the, the Funko Pops, I mean, it's not, uh, they're not something I'm just desperate to collect, um, but it is still nice to have them, and it is very thoughtful of Express Gaming and Gamer Central to get me them for Christmas or birthdays, if they can, um, and I think this all started um, all because I picked up the Dark Magician pop figure. Um, I only picked it up because, well, it's Dark Magician, like, he's my ace monster and favourite card, like, I couldn't resist. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to take them out of the box, um, can't see a reason to, really. Um, and I know 
pop figure collectors who watch other pop figure collectors apparently don't like that. Or so I've heard. Don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep the boxes sealed. I can't find a reason to do it really. Plus it might be a pain in the arse dusting them. Um I'm also trying to think where to put them once me and Emma move in together. Well, we need a space for these figures and our squishmallows. And of course, my cards. Five. Well, what do you think of Spider Man No Way Home? Oh, I liked it. Um, apart from. Um, yeah, that is the third one, right? Yeah. Um, now, this is going to be a spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it, so, um, yeah, spoiler alert, you have been warned. Um, I didn't really like it when everyone's memory of Peter Parker was wiped out, including MJ's. It's like, no, why? Why must you stop a dream couple being together? <laughs> yeah. I hated that. Um, but I did really love how um, the Spider-Men played by Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield came back. Like, that was just awesome. Um, and, um, yeah, a nice feel of nostalgia for those who've seen the original Spider-Man films. Or at least the ones that came out in the 2000s and 2010s. Um, so, yeah, it was nice to see them again. It's like, yes, th this is awesome. And last question. Would you ever consider playing a second... Uh, sorry. Would you ever play a second copy of Shining Neos Wingman? And don't worry, I respect your choices, how you make your decks. Just wanted to know. Have you, I mean, that's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm happy for you to make suggestions for decks, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, um, so, yeah, just don't be afraid to make the suggestion, like, even if I might not go for it, um, but anyway, to answer the question, um, I haven't actually considered that, because typically you would only play one in a hero deck, I mean, one's really all you need, unless, of course, you want to make the deck specifically based on Shining Neo Swingman, or make an Elemental Hero deck specifically based on the Wingmen Fusion monsters. In fact, come to think of it, why I never went this route is beyond me, actually, uh, considering that Shining Flare Wingman's my favourite hero, as I said earlier, um, and also among my top ten favourite cards, and so is Flame Wingman. Um, So, I guess multiple copies of Shining Neos Wingman would be fine in that sort of deck, but other than that, I feel like playing two or three would seem a bit excessive, um, and one's all you really need anyway, as I said. Um, I mean, I know it's supposed to be the new ace monster of elemental heroes, but... and. Although Neos Wingman is cool and a really awesome boss monster, uh, Shining Flare Wingman has been, and always will be, my favourite hero and the ace monster of my Elemental Hero deck, hence why I play two copies of it. And I feel like I'm the only one who plays two copies of Shining Flare Wingman, at least in a modern day Elemental Hero deck. I mean, um, I'm sure people who play like old school GX formats play like two or three copies of Shining Flare Wingman. I, mean, I still do in my April 06 and September 07 format uh, Elements of Hero decks. Um, and that is it for my questions. I hope you have an amazing day, man, and believe in the heart of the cards and high five through the screen. Yeah, thanks, man. Same to you. And I high five you, my friend. I high five all of you guys, the friends and the subscribers, and to use similar words to Webers5, 
You're the reason my channel gets stronger. You guys are the real heroes of this channel. Um, yeah, and I'm really hoping that I can reach 500 subscribers soon. I mean, at the time of recording this, I currently have 455. And I really want to get 45 more, because I really want to release my newest fan-made movie, Rampage of the Immortals. I mean, it's edited, it's ready to upload, um, and I just can't wait for you guys to see it. And I also can't wait for uh, James Sullivan to react to it. Um, as, yeah, Gong uh, uh, is a friend of his, apparently, um, or at least they, they subscribe to each other or know each other, and um, yeah, Sullivan has been reacting to my fan-made movies. Um, let's see, he's reacted to um, the collaboration movie I did with Gongna. He reacted to um, my first four movies so far. Um, he has yet to get to the others. Um, and I have mentioned about The Reaper Unleashed, which is the movie me and Express Gaming did last year. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see his reactions to those. Um, so, yeah, good stuff all around. Yeah, there have been some annoying, shitty moments um, throughout the first half of this year, but, but other than that, um, uh, some really great things have happened, and... Um, there are more great things to come. Anyway, yeah, that's it for the questions in this episode. Thank you very much for your guys' questions. Very cool ones as always. And if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments section down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening, UK time. So be sure to get a question in before then so that you don't miss out. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next week because... Next week I will have uh, Emma over here. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll still do a Q&A episode anyway, even if she's just in the background, or depending on what we're going to do, I might skip it and leave it till two weeks' time. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, obviously... Do submit any questions in the comments down below if you guys do have any and um, yeah I'll just still like I said I'll still either do the episode next week or in two weeks we'll see what happens anyway thanks for watching stay safe and I'll catch you guys later see ya thank you very much for watching be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel